Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PSN PS1 review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Siphon Filter 3, which if you've never played it or the other games before, it's basically a third person shooter. At the start here you've got one player, two player and mini game. I will show off all the features like all the bells and whistles and stuff like that, but for now I'm going to stick to the one player, which is just basically the campaign mode. You get uh, cutscenes and stuff like that, same as the other games and briefing. It's always worthwhile watching it to know what you're doing and not only that, they're always a good story and good voice acting, at least I think so. But for now I'm just skipping them just to get the action basically. Because if you don't know anything about the siphon filters, then basically you are super spy, you are the guy who goes in and does it all. If you do know everything about the siphon filters, if you enjoyed the first two, just buy the third one. There's nothing at all I can tell you that you're not already going to know, other than the fact that this one's got the mini games, which they're not even proper mini games, because the gameplay for all three games is pretty much identical. You go around, you disarm bombs, you do this, that and the other, you kill bosses, you save people, you go on to... Uh, to like destroy com radar type things and com links and get weapons and just kick the crap out of all the people that you can see with the multiple types of weapons there's literally nothing different which is one of the things that I quite like about it because it, every, it basically means that if you like a siphon filter then every siphon filter out there you should in theory like Control wise there's nothing really much to say out the ordinary, it's how you'd expect it to be controlled. I quite like the controls but I know that people that absolutely hate them but it's one of those that you can customise and you can mess around and hopefully find a happy medium. There's uh, also as you might have noticed sniping sections like this where I'm just basically hiding in a building and all I've got to do is not die but seeing as I've failed that let's go on to some multiplayer footage. So this is basically the multiplayer, it's not a co-op or anything like that, it's just a versus. There's a lot of stages that you've got that you can unlock as well, more of them. You can do the same with the characters, you can unlock more characters if you want to. Options, you can just basically have headshots and change the split screen and stuff. It's uh, one of those that the multiplayer isn't exactly great, there's some depth to it and it's the type of thing that you'll probably play for half an hour, but as there's no bots or anything and as it's only two player then you're probably going to get really bored really quickly because you're killing the same person over and over and over again so it's one of those that if one person's definitely better than the other then everyone knows how that match is going to go so it's just the type of thing that it's a shame that it wasn't at least four player or something you know so anyway you basically run around you shoot people as i say you get to, you can collect weapons you can collect armor and that this is pretty much the only time there's any real music in the game so i'm going to shut up for a bit of the music then cut to the mini games So that was a bit of the music and just us messing around on the multiplayer. This is the mini games, and it's not mini games as in Snake or Chess or anything like that, not something extra that's on that you can play. It's more of a challenge mode, it's what I'd associate as challenges. So there's things like Demolition, uh, Thief, uh, Assassin. I'll put Assassin on to be fair, not sort of, I'll put Demolition on because it's the more interesting of them, to be fair, because Assassin, you pretty much know what that's going to entail going around and shooting a specific person. Stealing is the Thief one, the whole point is you steal. But then you can choose your level, there's uh, all sorts of different ones like the DC Subway from the very first game. You can choose your character and what they look like and stuff and you can choose difficulty modes. So let's get on to some of this then. So demolition mode basically, I have to find bombs then while someone's disarming them I have to cover them. So it's uh, pretty cool, it's the type of thing that I do think these are much more interesting and more playable than the multiplayer. And it's nice that you've got a few to unlock, but it's a shame that there aren't even a few more than that. Because uh, I know on the PSP ones there were things like this as well, and I always ended up playing them more than anything else. Even though the PSP, to be fair, had a decent multiplayer online with something like eight people. This, obviously just two people, so not really much point. But the mini games, the challenges, whatever you want to call them, they are the type of thing that I love playing over and over again, even after the... Uh, 
even after beating the main game about 700 times I'll play these again and again because they're just the type of thing that I like to improve my scores on so that's really what they're there for to for people to improve their scores more than anything else so if you like that sort of thing then it's definitely worth getting the third game even if you like if you like the other two as well if you only want to get one of the games then while the story continues on through the games and you kind of really need to know the story it's not that important so it's a type of thing that you can you should probably just get the third game because it's the best of the three so there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well, that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.